We just talked to Santini. He said kind of felt like a little similar after the first period. The difference was that yesterday you had a lead, and you guys elevated your game after that, but this time you were behind. Uh, yeah, exactly. That's uh, exactly that. Uh, yesterday we scored. Today we didn't have a power play. We just we were slow. We were behind. Um, didn't stick with our plan, and uh, and then um, trickled through the first and the second, and and then it uh, took us a long, long time to figure it out. It seemed like last night and tonight it was the second period where you guys started to really kick into gear. Um, did it kind of have? Did you kind of have that sense as well around maybe the midway point of the second period? Um, I don't know. Today was a different. Uh, I think Akil Thomas line was the only line we we had going today. Um, till probably like five minutes left, and you know, with three guys alone, it's you're not gonna win a hockey game. So we had too many passengers. Uh, we woke up too late, unfortunately. Um, but that's something we have to get better. At. Mentioned Akil, and you know he's now been juggled a little bit. He was back in the middle, obviously after Turcotte called up today. What does it say about his play? Just that he's kind of been consistent throughout even though he's moved around a little No, he's been outstanding all year long. He's been uh, most reliable uh, forward, I would say, or, or, or player on the, on our team. He plays every position. He uh, doesn't complain. He does it the right way. And, you know, he, I, I like his game and his process all year long. And he's he's been great. You know, he lost a bunch of last season. It's not easy to come back, but... Uh, He's been great. Obviously, last game you moved him from the center to the wing. Today, back to the center. Is, is there anything you notice about his game in the, the few instances where he's gone to the wing and then back to the middle? Um, you know, honestly, uh, I never thought he could be a winger, uh, but I actually like him. Um, I, I feel like he he, he uh, has more speed this year. Um, you know, he's. We had the talk before. He's been. Akil Thomas and nothing else. I don't know. You need him to be someone else, uh, and I think he he noticed that. And uh, I think before he he thought he had to do more, but no, um, he's concentrating more on his game, and that's why I think he has more success. You know, these last couple of years, there's been the guys like Killer and and, and Turks and Sammy Figimo, and you've mentioned that those guys too have started to just play like themselves and be themselves you know what does it say about some of these guys that have been here for a few years that this season not just are they logging more games than ever before but they're starting to show up on the score sheet even more than before yeah no it takes time and um you know you can see the the chromiacs and you can see some other guys too it it's uh you know unfortunately uh it takes time like i said and uh you know some young kids it's it's totally new it's uh it's almost too much for them uh, but again that's why they're here, and that's why we have to develop them. Uh, develop them, and uh, and uh, yeah, no, and that's that's a little bit the process of uh, being in the minors, and also develop develop those kind of kids. And uh, but yeah, no, it's definitely nice to see when they make pro progress as well, right? So um, no, the the Kings took a few. That's a good sign, right? But it's a good sign. That's what we want. And uh, now we gotta. A new generation coming in, and now you know it's a, uh, it's a, uh, it's a, uh, it's, uh, it's a big circle, right? And now we have to uh, get them raining, and hopefully, you know, the years coming up, they're gonna be the same way like uh, the Kiel Thomas and Tarkovs. I know that you know. Obviously, you look at the game as a whole, but at the end of the game, in that comeback, I mean, what does it say about the team that they do have some belief there that? game's not over and they keep funneling bucks to the net and get yeah, chances? Yeah, we, we talked about it after a second and uh, I think our belief system was not there, really. Uh, it's, it's not been there all year uh, when we were down. Um, but you know what? It's hockey. Anything can happen. And I don't care if it's three, four, five goals. Uh, anything can happen. And you could see today almost almost happen, but you see it every day in the league. Uh, it doesn't matter which league and which country you're in. Um, it happens all the time, so it just you gotta believe, I and mean, you gotta play the right way, and you gotta stick with the sixty minutes. Aaron Dell, first start today, obviously a, a really tough game for him to play, and just a lot of chances early on. Then there wasn't that many coming at middle. What did you think of him in the first game here? Yeah, it was not easy for him. So you know he didn't play for a while. So unfortunately, we didn't play good in front of him. Um, but he's gonna get another crack out of it. I think he's a good goalie, and he just needs a few more reps. That's all.
Okay.